kids on this side, yes? Yeah. Right, Peter, what's your favourite inspirational life quote? Live each day as if it's your last. Yeah, it's probably why I didn't get the job at the Samaritans. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Samaritans there. <laughs> but comedy is one of those things you can't prepare for, like sitting down to watch Naked Attraction with your grand. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even know she'd audition. <laughs> Yeah, that was a tough one. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> but this is the first time I've been here. Some angry homeless guy threatened to shove his magazine up my arse. Oh, yeah. Gave him two pound fifty. Didn't want him to force the issue. <laughs> But you did anyway. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> so my ex-girlfriend got dead serious after sex. She went, Ben, do you think you'll still love me when I'm when I'm 80? I was like, of course. It's only two years away. <laughs> no, she didn't make it. <laughs> Used to go with some girl from the Alopecia Society. Uh, there was a falling out. <laughs> Actually, she dumped me. Hair loss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for looking at you, Jonah. <laughs> Came into some money recently. Couldn't find any tissues. My girlfriend's had a few pregnancy scares. I said, don't worry. The pregnant women are more scared of you than you are of them. <laughs> One of my mates got married and decided to take his wife's name. So now he's called Rachel. <laughs> Tell you a little bit about myself. Been doing stand up comedy now for about one minute thirty seconds. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm an older gentleman. This means I've had fucking loads of jobs. For example, I used to support the rights of workers in a napkin factory in Moscow. I was in the Soviet Union. <laughs> I've actually started a new job this week and my new boss come over to us he says uh, your old boss has sent your reference over from the helium factory he speaks very highly of you He's a man of yes, yes <laughs> alcohol is the only drug I do I don't do any other drugs they try and do all the drugs one month in alphabetical order I was way behind but now I'm up to speed <laughs> I'm a single man at the moment uh, me and my girlfriend recently split up and she was quite immature she used to think it was funny to rub her athlete's foot on me yeah, yeah I didn't find it funny I thought it was disgusting and the athlete was furious <laughs> I had a date recently took a girl out to a pizza restaurant because I'm all class and uh, it turned out that she was gluten intolerant. And it turns out that I am gluten intolerant, intolerant. <laughs> Eat bread or shut up about not eating bread. It's not
I had a tough time getting to the gig tonight because I was driving and I broke down, which is weird because I don't normally cry. I know I'm not much to look at, but I do own a sex dungeon, so lock up your daughters, or I will. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? You wait for one 80s male pop duo, and then wham! <laughs> it's my one Christmas joke. <laughs> my youngest sister is sadly completely glued to her phone. A prank which I still find hilarious. <laughs> Three years later, my dad hates my tattoos. He's a heavy sleeper and I needed someone to practice on. <laughs> I told my friends I met Gene Simmons and Ace Freely. He said, wow, kiss. I said, no, I only just met the blokes. <laughs> my nan and granddad, they've been together a long time. They're completely inseparable. A prank which I still find hilarious. <laughs> Three years later. <laughs> now that my nan's getting older, she said she wants to move somewhere with less stairs. I said, you don't have to move, just stop doing the garden and topless. <laughs> Take all the time you need. That is me from the programme Lost. <laughs> I was never on it, but it's never stopped anyone before. <laughs> I recently lost my job. Aww. Hate having to go to the job centre every time I go in there and say, Mr Carter, have you found the job? Even the questions there are redundant. <laughs> I used to work in retail, you get a lot of shit questions in retail. Can I touch this for contactless? <laughs> I used to work as a coffin designer, that was an undertaking. <laughs> I had to leave that one behind me though, because I was feeling boxed in. <laughs> I was let go after, from my job at the local Friars after a bout of incontinence. <laughs> I really pissed on those chips. <laughs> I used to be the guy that checked in people at the asylum, but I was never able to finish the paperwork. I've always had commitment issues. <laughs> I don't have a very good memory, so I'm going to cheat. Uh, let's see. I'm just proving the point, I've forgotten my pin. <laughs> I got let go from my job at the Ford car factory because I lacked focus. I got particularly punished for having to sleep on the line. But I thought I was having a Ford Siesta. <laughs> I've applied for a few new jobs though, one with the sewage works, so that's in the pipeline. <laughs> Never said they'd be good. <laughs> Just that I couldn't remember them. <laughs> Recently applied for one at the Lego shop, but they've had a lot of a lot of quality people go for that one, so I'm not building myself up too much. <laughs> I've always found it difficult fitting in. Your frames aren't as wide as they used to be, are they? <laughs> Never been particularly great socially either. Like, my best friend wanted to go on a night out while we were there. He said, let's shut this club down. So that seems counterproductive. <laughs> I've always found relationships tricky though. Probably because I had a difficult one with my parents, but threesomes are hard to balance. <laughs> My ex said, if you love someone, you should let them go, but fuck it, I'm keeping her in that basement. <laughs> my family tree only goes back two generations because my granddad was a lumberjack. <laughs> I'll always remember the last thing he ever said to me just before he died. Stephen, call an ambulance! <laughs> I remember one time when my watch stopped halfway through a minute's silence. 
I was stood there for hours. <laughs> I couldn't tell anybody. <laughs> this year I bought my wife an artificial leg for Christmas as a stocking filler. <laughs> Imagine if you finished last in a race for life. <laughs> so anyway, it turns out that when your wife says she wants treated for her birthday, she doesn't meet with Cooper in Old Stay. <laughs> Man, you just got a lovely town now. Medium old. <laughs> Never been very good in the kitchen. I thought I'd try and bake a brownie, but my daughter refused to get in the oven. <laughs> Turns out she's in guides anyway. <laughs> My children were younger, used to wrap the Christmas presents in cling film instead of wrapping paper, just to spoil the surprise. Man, <laughs> you, the year we bought my kids, it was particularly trauma. <laughs> <laughs> the other night I tried watching Mo Farah on catch-up. <laughs> had no chance. I got reminded through the door that I needed to book an eye test. In the end I booked two, I thought I might as well get them both done while I'm there. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm bored I put on a bright yellow fluorescent jacket, go down to a Tesco supermarket and spend an hour pushing a long line of trolleys round around the car park. It's a great cardiovascular workout. And it only costs a pound. Can you get that back when you've finished? <laughs> Went to see my doctor. He asked me to provide a stool sample so I enrolled on a basic woodworking drawer. <laughs> he was quite concerned when I told him it'll probably take me a couple of months to be done. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, you've been lovely. Enjoy the rest of Steve Kirkland, the yeah. winner. How was that? That's amazing, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice way to win that. Some great acts on. Great crowd and uh, that brilliant night. Yeah, congratulations, dude. Thank you. Very well done. Cheers. Thanks hey, very much. The, there you go. There's the club behind us. There it is. Thank you very much. Well done, Steve. Thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. Well done. If you want to say hi, you just have a quick chat. How was that? Did you guys have fun? Yeah, it's good. 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 Yeah, it's good